I'm this is Marjorie Baraj from Pakistan and you're watching my YouTube channel Insani Ittihad which aims to invoke a bit of humanity in all of us through awareness and understanding. So today I wanted to talk about something really uh, personal but I think it's very important to talk about this um, because it will one um, get the message across because that person has actually apparently blocked me uh, um, on WhatsApp. I have also blocked him on uh, the uh, whatsapp because obviously if somebody doesn't want to talk and um, one should respect their privacy so it's uh, Zakaria Corner my rabbi uh, so I don't know maybe I have said something really outrageous or obnoxious or something really inappropriate and that's why he kind of felt that it is not uh, appropriate for him to have um, any conversation or any link um with the with me or even have conversation with me but i um i actually i thought of not talking about this but then i thought that um why not and i also wanted to make i actually wanted to talk in 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 regards to uh, whatsapp blocking uh, of a very very good and amazing friend of mine and 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 who has been a great mentor and inspiration for inspiration for me too and I had blocked him and there was a reason and I wanted to discuss and talk about it um, in regards to how we should handle relationships and sensitive and, and be sensitive to others and not always look uh, for for things or you know only look things in one perspective that what we want in a relationship and what what is our perspective rather we should be empathetic and considerate over the other person uh, so uh, Zakaria Korna who is no longer my rabbi who will never be my rabbi now uh, because yeah I mean it's um, and it's such an unfortunate thing on my my end I can't say he's unfortunate because he's a Jew and it would be uh, a very bad thing to say that he is uh, it, it's it's so yeah it, it, it's a very bad and unfortunate thing that he has moved to New York I guess um, for some uh, reason and I'm also going there I uh, I mean I, I, I can't change my uh, plans now it's gonna be New York I would now think of going to West New York New Jersey areas maybe but even if i end up in new york and um, i'll make sure that i would not go into uh, the specific place where he told me that he will be to hope and pray that i never ever 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 until the time that i spend in new york and hopefully it is um because i i would be there for a longer period of time before i um would make uh, an aliyah to israel now now I'm considering an aliyah um, to Israel because of this now changed situation. Because And maybe it is because of that, that maybe Hashem just wants me to stay in New York for a while, say five, six, seven years, and then probably make an aliyah eventually. So this is now because of this incident and everything and, and the way that our equation, the equation of me and the rabbi, got um, messed up uh, and I, I definitely don't blame him maybe I have said something really I have a very big mouth and I don't think when I speak or write or whatever I'm a very blunt and raw person so maybe I would have said something which have made him uncomfortable or whatever but in any way I have never in my wildest dream thought that this equation that we had because it's such a beautiful equation that I had with uh, with with the rabbi and uh, i never thought that this would end and this whole equation would end up like this i thought maybe i mean i mean i do have a crush on him and stuff and he's kind of cute looking and i we were flirtiers or whatever but yeah i mean i thought that you know we would end up very decently and modestly and amazingly and then you know once he will get married he would invite me to his wedding and since he taught me how to read Hebrew and he taught me Torah I actually personally wanted him I actually personally wanted him as an special guest on my wedding 
but unfortunately unfortunately this will now is not going to happen like never never i i in no way i'm going to invite and I, i mean khas wa shalam khas wa shalam khas wa shalam if i ever bump into him i would definitely not say hello and i wish that he doesn't too but if he does i would bluntly say i'm sorry i don't know you you are i'm not the person that you're saying i am you're looking for a wrong person i'm not that so i would definitely not want to bump into him or see his face or even say hello or catch up whatever and it's not that i have this grudge like that i have any bad feelings or hard feelings i mean absolutely not absolutely i tell you what um the jewish guy i met at the mgc he showed me the ahava the love that hashem and israelites have with each other and that together the couple couple that they the marital couple that they make so i got this awareness and i saw this through this guy that i thought that i fell in love with now this rabbi zakaria corner he showed me the intimate conversation that this divine couple of hashem and israel the the kind of conversation that they have he taught me torah he taught me the language of intimacy the language of ahava the love and i would always 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 be grateful to these two amazing bright jewish souls for giving me this this awareness this and exposing me to this light i i am so grateful and definitely i i have a huge huge amount of respect for both of these gentlemen and i hope whatever they wish in their life if they if if zakaria wants marriage kids may he has that if he wants to fuck around from one vagina to another may he has the best vaginas to fuck in the entire new york or entire world except yeah whatever <laughs> so uh yeah i mean i i it's it's like i have no hard feelings but you know for both of these guys i never ever want to bump into them ever want to see them not because i have any grudge it's because i i had you know when we um when people are when we are so inspired and and so attracted to people we put them over here and i i had crushes on these two guys big time both good looking amazing and more importantly the good more important then their looks and and everything their souls are beautiful amazing souls or maybe i see it that way so i had put them on this level and unfortunately our circumstances or maybe i have said something or i don't know what happened but now they they are here so when they were there i just wanted to appreciate them and talk about them and and everything and when they, when when somebody who is there and it comes down to here and it they, you still respect them you still care for them you still pray for them but obviously i i will not pray regularly for for them i just pray i just yeah i i just don't want both of these guys in in my thoughts or but yeah i appreciate what they have added in my life and when they are there it's very difficult to communicate to them or face them Uh, when you have already put them here so you don't want to see them here so that's why you just don't want to see them or you don't want to talk to them because you don't want to see them on a lower place i really don't want to see uh, these two guys but no hard feelings i wish them all the well and all the happiness that they 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 deserve and hashem can give them um so yeah and and then i thought of you know um how blocking is you know for the, the the whatsapp blocking means because i had blocked somebody and uh, you know all those palestinian palestinian people and all those yeah this jewish guy ditched you and my heart is broken 
there is no guy on this planet earth and there is no penis except of my husband's and my husband they have i mean my husband and his penis and his soul can affect me and there is no guy on this planet earth or no penis on this planet earth which can affect major bean baloch like that i'll still go to new york i still get converted i was still bazarat hashem bazarat hashem would find my soulmate and you know and and at times i do think that maybe zakaria you know my uh, the rabbi zakaria actually thought maybe it is a hijabi girl who doesn't know anything about this and maybe she could you know we can flirt around we can have sex or something like that and so that she would know how the jewish men have sex or whatever i'm not i'm not converting for sex i'm not i i didn't wanted to i mean jewish marriage is about soul mating Jewish marriage Jewish relationships are not about vagina and penis mating it's about soul mating yes sex is used to pursue this divine meeting of two souls but i personally was not looking for sex with zakaria corner i did said that but that was sarcastic jokes because i once there was this uh, another muslim guy who was like who desperately wanted to sleep with me or i don't know marry me i don't know his intention but he was like this the you know this uh, mgc he was talking about this mgc he never met this mgc guy he doesn't even know me we were like acquaintances and we worked together on some project or something so uh, this guy said that you know this mgc guy he is a drinker he would sleep with so this guy would say that this this mgc guy this mgc jewish guy would be sleeping around binge drinking and this and that and you are such a nice hijabi girl why are you i mean they are not faithful and and i got so pissed off and so do you know that guy do you even know me and i was just so angry i told him how do you know that he has slept with so many girls I have slept with all the Jewish guys at the MGC. Do you know that? The guy was <laughs> he got mad and his face was hilarious and I was having fun <laughs> watching his pissed off face because I mean please I mean it, it stop Muslim men stop doing stop doing that you know the white guys these non muslim christian or jewish guys they are this if i if my converting rabbi would give me two options um of you know the shadikhim and he would say you know here is a guy who is 50 years old he has been binge drinking and he has been fucking around every other woman he could possibly fuck around with and he had no morals he never even knew that he was he was jewish and boy he is a balchua now he davens three times he's a tora and talmud khachman and he wants a jewish home a jewish marriage and a jewish life with Jew- with possibly jewish children and then in other shidduch he is uh, uh, he is a 40 year old very very hasid religious uh from <laughs> a jewish guy who just married uh for 2 years or 1 year and now his wife has it has his wife has passed away and now he is with a child or maybe not even with a child so i would without even blinking and without even thinking would go with the balchua and the reason being that the guy who is married when when a jewish man and woman get married or when anyone gets married marriage is something that i mean that's i mean that woman meant so much to that man that he married her and i don't want and i i can never be the second wife i can never be you know i can never take that place that's just not me married women either divorcees or widowers i i cannot be somebody's second wife i cannot be a rebound girl 
yes if somebody is like a balchua from a very vibrant sexual life or whatever but he now he knows that judaism has value jewish home has a value jewish marriage has a value and i want a jewish woman i want that kind of man who wants to build a relationship based on souls meeting not vagina and penises meeting through sex and that's about it there is no kama sutra in in judaism we in the jewish marriage is two souls connecting becoming one with each other and then becoming one with hashem so yeah i i an age penis this nothing matters to me i want my soulmate whoever he is i want my yehuda <laughs> who has the hearts and and has the courage to take this for the rest of his life it, it takes a lot of yeah so uh yeah and i mean um yeah so i i just completely forgot what i was saying but anyway so um my rabbi my not my rabbi the rabbi uh he just did that he blocked me so obviously i blocked him too and i hope never to see him again it's very good that he did i had actually blocked my one of um one of my friend like i said he was so amazing uh, i was going through something and i was going through something and i had uh, chatted with uh, I had this conversation with an old friend whom I met at 2015 in in uh, India. Uh so we caught up uh we had some professional thing going on and then we we caught we catch up with each other our lives. He was actually dating an Indian girl and then he and that girl broke up and I had just said no to uh, the guy that I was getting married to and we were just, you know, discussing stuff, catching up and you know with life and all that and i had planned to visit my cousin from my mother's side that is my mother's eldest brother's daughter uh, me and my sister were, pla- were planning a vacation in london to go and spend uh, the vacations there and celebrate christmas yes christmas and that is before i got uh, you know with my torah study and the rabbi thing and everything So I have me and my younger sister we had planned to go uh and celebrate Christmas and New Year with our cousin there and I told this friend of mine that you know I would meet you there and um we'll see and then we were just talking and we were discussing that if we could be more than just friends so mind you I had two uh very close friends one is Arvind Bala who is also my Raksha Bandhan brother and a very good friend he has a, a beautiful fiance from nepal and i'm looking forward to for his marriage i hope that happens soon uh yeah anyway i just love getting people married anyway so yeah it's the best way to you know, express your intimate and sexual expression but never mind um so this friend of mine who is already married has grown up married children he is i think 50 plus i don't exactly remember how old he is but he would be 70 no 70 would be too much i think he he would be 60 plus yeah he was 60 plus amazing guy my mentor a great friend and initially we clicked actually we were like talking generally as friends and it was good i mean he was good looking i mean he was such a handsome guy and everything and he had wonderful blue eyes he has wonderful blue eyes and i hope he has found his uh, soulmate or somebody or girlfriend or he's happy i just pray that he is happy so we were talking and i was i already had a very sort of relationship and i i just got out and at that time i needed a friend my friend already had broken up with this indian girl and he had this one year gap that he hadn't been with anyone or had a girlfriend or whatever so he had already passed that phase of you know healing up and everything and now we were i mean we were talking and he was being a little you know he was indicating that he is more than a friend for me it was very uncomfortable and i told him that 
I would come to London, we will meet up, and then we will see where it goes, and if it's more than just friendship. Um, but it's, it's like, you know, when people at times want things for themselves only, and at times they, they cannot go across and see things from the other perspective. So obviously, maybe it was that, and maybe he out of uh, out of respect, out of out out of sheer, you know, wantingness to have a relationship or have have something. And had we been talking as friends, and I was not that in that phase, and we were still in communication, maybe I would have, we would have ended up together. And I, this is what I told him. That if you and I would have a intimate relationship, and I told him that I want marriage, and I would be converting to Judaism one day, which is something in the back of my head, so I would definitely, I don't know, in a year's time or two years' time, would be converting to Judaism. You shouldn't have any issue with that. So he said, yeah, go ahead, you, you can convert. And I said, if we have a relationship, we get married, we have children, I'm raising the children Jewish. Obviously, he was in church. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I, I still believe that it had our conversation continued for another month or another week or two, we would have ended up in a very healthy and amazing and, and, and I think personally fulfilling relationship. But at that time, I was really hurt and... It, it was very painful for me that he wanted the relation. I, while I was healing from my marriage kind of a thing that I was going through, he was already healed and got over his relationship and he wanted a new relationship immediately. I was not in that phase. And I said to them that I, I can't have this and I'm so sorry, I we cannot talk and stuff. And... and that happened when he said that he doesn't want a friend. And I was actually very hurt that I, I told him that we can talk, we can talk as friends because we're very good friends. We we love talking to each other generally and you know just just even about our lives and stuff. But he said that no, he was very specific that we need to have this clarity that we are, you know. And I couldn't give that clarity and I couldn't be that, that girlfriend for him at that time, at that point in time. And he said that if you can't be my girlfriend at this point in time, I don't even want a friend. I was just so offended that how can somebody who wants intimacy with you or who wants a long-term relationship with you would would not want a friendship and can't wait a few months so that I could, you know, come to London and actually see you and actually, you know, work it out. But he just, I never went then eventually to London because I was just so pissed off that, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, yes, friends become, usually if you ask me, if I, if I call somebody brother, that's like, I'm like never interested in you and there is nothing you can do that I would be interested in you. So that's why I'm just calling you brother. If I call you a friend, you're a friend. You cannot be any. But yeah, I, I can understand that there are chances. And like in this case, because we had such a good understanding of where we are coming from and what our thought process are. And I actually told him that we, our couple can work out, but not at this moment because i i cannot be that i cannot be that girlfriend i cannot be that that intimate person for you i can be a friend for you right now and he said i don't want that friend right now i don't want the friend. i have friends i don't want you as a friend then i i, I just i just blocked him because i was just extremely hurt that uh, i mean i what am I as a woman to you? Am I just a vagina that, or, or, or just sex or what? And then I also realized 
the importance of marriage because i love the holistic approach the holistic acceptance approach of marriage you know the the the, the whole uh, girlfriend boyfriend and the sleeping around thing is i just want to get into your vagina that's it my penis just wants to rub with your vagina that's it we do not want anything marriage has this holistic approach of connecting to the person in entirety in totality in 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 not just sex but it's it's a deeper connection than than you know it it's spiritual it it's 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 of souls getting to know each other it's it's long lasting and i i was just so i mean he was a mentor i looked up to him and i just i just didn't want it to make things worse i didn't wanted that he would say something because i was already going through a um, emotional breakdown from the proposal thing and then this guy and i said he would say one bad thing and i would be like why i i didn't want it that if i ever see him again i would not talk to him or not catch him. at least me blocking him uh now means that if i ever in my life ever ended up ended up doing a vacation with my cousin not necessarily celebrating christmas or new year because obviously bazaar the shama would be converting to judaism and that i can't do but if i ever visited my cousin or if me and my sister would ever visit uk in for vacation whatever recreation if i would bump 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 into this guy i would say hello and i would catch up i don't know if he would would, would want to catch up and want to talk to me but it feels very bad you if the, the transition from friends to becoming intimate partners should be very smooth it cannot be forced one hand you say that you care about me and everything and you say i'm i'm getting old and i don't have all the time so you be my girlfriend right now while i'm healing i i'm not in that state of mind i can be your friend and then i come meet you and then we can and if you already if you already have options and you're holding them on my yes and no then go ahead it's a no for me and i'm just i just don't want to talk to you because you don't want a friend you already have a friend so you have many friends so that was very hurtful and i realized that maybe this is exactly what ha- what would have happened to this rabbi zakaria karna then maybe i would have said something which was not suitable which was not appropriate maybe i was just this dumb ass and you know i said something really pathetic and really stupid and then he had to go this you know bad that he blocked me maybe he is the one who wants to never ever see me again or talk to me and that's why he is just so i realized that maybe i have said something really really bad and my message sharing these two experiences very personal very intimate intimate um, you know details or experiences is just that when we are in a relationship we are having a crush or we are we're just having this we're meeting this guy that we think is potentially our partner we need to realize that the other person might be going through something um maybe it's not because right after that that guy that i said no to i think after 2 months or a month and a half i was feeling completely fine and in comes this rabbi zakaria corner and we started we started our torah lesson and everything and i was and some people will say oh that guy was old and ugly and this guy was very good looking and no that's not the case that mentor of mine that friend of mine is the most handsome guy he has the most beautiful i have never seen more beautiful blue eyes in my entire life than this guy and i think he is 
I think he is 50 plus or 60 plus, but he is very handsome, either 60 plus or 50 plus. Very handsome and I'm sure if we would have ended up together, we would have really amazingly handsome and cute looking kids. But no, um, not gonna happen. Not, I'm sure he would not want it now and for me, so... So, but you know, it's it's not the compression. This is handsome. That is handsome. He is younger. I want younger penises and older. It's not about younger penises, older penises. It's not about money. It's not about bank balance. It's not about good looks, ugly looks. If you ask me now, the other day I was telling my sister how strange it is. I think two two nights two two nights before. Uh, yeah, it's 25 today. So two nights before, two nights or one night, something like that. So we, it has been raining and no electricity. So we have, <laughs> we are going crazy. So I don't remember. So two nights earlier, I was talking to my younger sister. And I was saying, how strange this is, na? That I feel that Sidhu Musewala, Sidhu Musewala, the Shubh Deep Singh Sidhu Musewala is a Punjabi singer that I have uh, made videos previously. Um regarding his you know murder and regarding his personality so i was telling my uh, youngest sister did you know how strange this is that i feel like sometimes i feel like uh sidhu musewala was my soulmate and how strange that is that he is not circumcised he is not a jew he's an idol worshipper he is the anti what I want to be and what I want in life. But I see him as a minch. I see that I can connect with his soul. And then my younger sister said a very beautiful thing. That it's not about the material connection, Najaveen. It's about, it's about the soul connection. If your soul connects... You know, this circumcised penis, not circumcised, Jewish, non-Jewish, that doesn't matter. Our souls, the, the soul need to be connected with our true mate. Ask, ask uh, David Amalek. He has so many wives, so many concubines, most beautiful women, most amazing, inspirational Jewish women. What else he could want? He also has children, not like that they are barren, though that they are living in Earth's Israel and being barren is an issue for women um, in, in, in Israel. That's what the rabbi told me in, in one of our sessions. What is, what is David Amalekhi looking for? And if you ask David Amalekhi, what were you looking for? And he would simply say, I was looking for Bathsheba. So he was, I mean, you said, what were you looking for? You would just say Bathsheba. That's what he was, because that's a soulmate connection. Uh, marriage, the true Jewish marriage is the connection of two souls. Two souls mating with each other through a sexual exper experience or sexual material expression. But it is never the mating of vaginas and penises and it is nothing it's nothing to do with that so it, it, it's a soulful collection and i i feel i actually feel actually feel very very angry at myself that i don't know what i have said to this rabbi zakaria corner that he was so disgusted that he just or he was hurt i don't know what was he was going through but Whatever he is going through, I hope he. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. He said he's sorry. I apologize. I am sorry that I said something really, you know, ridiculous. That you have to go to this extent. That you know, because I have done that. I was felt. I felt so hurt, so painful when a mentor, a, a somebody who inspired me, a great friend, is somebody I looked up to hurt me this bad that I blocked him and I didn't want to consider having a relationship with him so uh, yeah I, I kind of I wanted to apologize because he blocked me so I had to block him so I could not get this message across so uh, whoever in my subscriber so in my one of my subscriber 
is missing so i have 70 and now i have 69 so deep down in my heart i thought maybe it's my rabbi who unsubscribed me so obviously he won't be able to see this video and if he does um i want to say to you don't have to say sorry thank you very much for teaching uh, hebrew teaching me torah a little bit introducing me to the language of intimacy between hashem and israel I thank you so very much you don't have to be sorry don't worry i'll never talk to you never want to see you never will reach out to you for anything no matter what have a great life um i will not say or promise that i will pray for you i will pray for you once this shabbat that you get whatever you want stay always happy and blessed and may hashem watch over you and then we never ever cross our paths while i'm staying in new york i do not want to see you no so please hashem keeps a keep us far far apart from each other in the city that we will be living ah it's a big city and i'm sure that <laughs> i won't be able to um, bump in bump into him in any way and um yeah definitely i don't want to do anything with him but i have all the no hard feelings all the wishes for you just for this shabbat and then i will not think about you so don't worry whoever if he watches this this is a message if he doesn't watch someone who knows him like that please get this message across to him and um yeah i'm not hard i'm very happy because i'm looking forward to uh going to new york getting converted into judaism i'm so excited the zerath hashem it will happen soon and then i'll find my soulmate even if i don't find my soulmate i know hashem has planned uh, planned and architected and you know craved my life so beautifully and if it does not include if hashem does not include a soul mate meeting with me in this life maybe i would meet him in the heaven or in the next life or the what is that alam haba to come so no no big uh, i'm not a person who would get disappointed and sad i'm genuinely <laughs> a happy person and nothing can affect my happiness and i think that comes when we have this intimate and marital relationship with hashem so i'm lucky that i would have this marital relationship first with hashem and then we'll find my soulmate the zarat hashem soon and i would just like to say this that yeah pay attention to your relationships and your encounters with beautiful souls and human beings and cherish the, the the value that they add into your life and then break up with decency and with maturity so that you know upmost decency and um maturity so that if you bump into each other or you look you cross each other's paths it's not difficult or it's not disgusted for any of any of the two two of you and it's it's actually a joy to actually say hello and you know catch up and uh, yeah i hope i hope i have not offended these two amazing gentlemen with amazing souls and i hope they are having a blessed uh, day and night or whatever and they have simkhas and blessings all their lives so thank you very much